Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to run Portal on Mac OS with an M1 chip. So as you can see, I have an Apple M1 with 8 gigabytes of RAM made in 2020, and I will be running Portal on it natively. So the first step to doing this is to install Homebrew. So if we go to Safari and we type in brew.sh, enter there and now we can open up our terminal so do command space and just type in terminal and it'll pop up just press enter so once we have our homebrew installation script copied we will grab our terminal just paste this in it'll ask for your password type it in hit enter hit enter again and now it will start to install homebrew once Homebrew is finished installing, we can just type in brew help. And this, this shows that everything is working with Homebrew. Now, install the Xcode command line tools. Type in Xcode, select, space, double dash, install. Once you have that in, just hit enter, and a little pop-up will show up asking you to install them. Give it like 15 or 20 minutes, and you'll have the command line tools installed. You can pause the video here to wait for them to install. Once you have them installed, we're going to run a few more commands. We're going to type in brew doctor. And this is going to make sure that everything is working well with Homebrew. Just run that. And everything is looking good. So then we're going to type in brew cleanup. This basically just makes sure there's no outdated files. Looks good to me. Now we're going to type in, and this is important, and I'll have this command linked in the description. So once all those are installed, we're gonna type in one more important command. This will also be linked in the description. And now everything is good there. We're gonna type in git clone dash dash recursive, and then a URL that I will have linked in the description along with all the commands. So once we have that, we'll just paste that in. And then you will have cloned this repository to your Mac. Now we'll type in CD source engine, source dash engine. And now we're in the folder. Now for installing portal, what we're gonna do is type in Python 3 WAF configure dash capital T release and since we're on a 64-bit computer we're going to do dash dash 64 bits dash dash prefix and we're going to set this equal to nothing so just two single quotes and then we're going to do and this is the important command build dash games equals and now we're going to type in portal now wait for all that to finish and it should have configured successfully now once that is done we're going to run another command actually building the game so python 3 waf and then just type in build Now this will take probably about five minutes, so just wait for this to finish up. Now I want to put my game files in my documents folder. This is where I store all my gaming stuff. So I have it in gaming, source games, and then I've made a portal folder. You can also do this in your applications or a different directory that you want. So now once you have your portal folder ready, 
we're going to go to here. So I'm going to type in Python 3 WAF install dash dash dest dear equals and now we can just drag in our portal folder from down here and here and there we go. If we hit enter now we'll see all the files being created and now in our finder we have all these. Now we have to install the actual Steam game on our computer. So we can launch Steam. Wait for this to load up. And now we have Portal ready. So I already have it installed, but you guys just hit the install button. If you don't have it yet, buy it. And then once it's finished installing, you can go back to your finder, go to go in the top. And we're going to hold down the option key. And now this new library folder appears. We're going to hit this. And now we're going to scroll to the top and find application support. Open this up. Scroll down more. Find Steam. Open this up. Steam apps. Common. And now we have portal. Now. There's a few folders we have to copy over here. Let's make a new finder window, put it on top of our terminal because we don't need it anymore. And we're going to go back to our portal folder that we made earlier. Now in here, we're not going to touch this bin folder. Inside the portal folder though, we're going to open our other Steam portal folder. We're going to copy everything other than the bin. Copy all this and just paste it in. Wait for it to paste all those files. There we go. Now we're also going to drag in another folder, platform. And then after that, we're going to drag in HL2. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up Automator. So just hit command space again, type in auto, it should come up, hit enter. Now we're going to choose new document, and then we're going to hit application, hit choose, and now we're going to type in shell in the top. And we're going to get this action, run shell script, and just drag it in here. Now instead of having cat as our uh, script we want to have this instead we're just going to paste in this command that i've linked in the description and once that's done you're going to hit command s to save it and call it portal and now put it in your applications folder now once you have it in your applications folder you can open up your applications folder scroll down to portal and now if we double click it, hit OK. Wait for this to load up. And there you have it. We have Portal running natively on an M1 Mac. As you can see here, if we go into the activity monitor, here we go kind apple that means it's apple silicon native so we have portal running right now on our mac it works as you can see i can change the resolution right now on the, my native resolution i can make it smaller if i want there you go i can make it windowed there we go so yeah that's how you get portal running